what's going on guys welcome back to the channel yes demon slayer is back here we're gonna be doing eight and nine today and i'm excited man to see what muzan have muzan 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 right is muzan <laughs> muzan has up his sleeve you know it's crazy you know what i'm saying as i'm checking my phone right here you know it's crazy sometimes when i watch this show when i watch this show um i tend to i don't want to say overanalyze because i'm doing what i usually do so if you're new to the channel you see me do these things it's what i've been doing and it may seem like i'm overanalyzing because sometimes when i rewatch my reactions i'm i'm like you know maybe i shouldn't have paused there it's a little bit of a conflict sometimes for me when i pause the show to you know talk about certain things in some series i talk more than some so it's it's more of like how i'm feeling in the moment sometimes i'll sit here for basically maybe the entire episode and you know you barely hear me say anything and that's just because a lot of times i'm paying attention to the dialogue because somebody you know for this show specifically um somebody told me hey you might just find some some things with a deeper meaning when it comes on to this anime and i've been just paying attention to the dialogue a lot more and what they're showing on screen to um to kind of gauge to see if it's just a you know uh a regular shonen or is actually some deep writing going on here haven't seen any of it yet but you know i haven't seen any of it yet really you know i mean it's a pretty straightforward story at this point um last episode i was talking about i didn't like the fact that um that tanjiro left nezuko you know rushed to go because of the scent that he picked up off muzan the same scent that was at his house right um i i understood why he did it you know what i'm saying i do i do understand why he did it you know what i mean um and also you know with you know instinct instinctively pretty much any one of us has probably done the same thing that don't mean i gotta like it <laughs> you know what i'm saying that don't mean i gotta like it you know what i'm saying excuses are excuses you know uh with good reasons sometimes you know what i'm saying so there's, there's nothing wrong with um me having a problem with that you know what i'm saying um i was worried about nezuko because her being by herself is not a good thing you know what i'm saying it's just not a good thing even though she can protect herself it's just not a good thing they are higher level demons that could possibly see her and probably want to kill her we don't know the intent i don't know if demons demons obviously kill demons right so we've seen that because muzan his introduction has caused me to kind of, you know, compare the series to to Blade, of the you know the Marvel series Blade from the comic books to to the actual movies or whatever the situation is. I've just always I'm I'm into that. So to know that Muzan is like the creator, like he was the first human to become a demon. I don't know who turned him into a demon, but he was the first human to become a demon. So maybe the hybrid, because if we remember correctly, if you know anything about the lore of vampires, right? When it comes on to Dracula or Drake or all the different names that the founder of vampires have over the years, right? Um, you know that he was a hybrid right he was able to walk in the daytime and all of this other stuff i don't know if it's the same for muzan because they're afraid you know the demons that he turns or you know has been dribbled down or whatever like they're not able to withstand sunlight so i'm uh i'm thinking maybe he's gonna be able to walk in the day if he's the founder if he's that kind of you know his his blood is so potent right that a simple scratch because that's what he did to do to cause a disruption at the end of the episode right a simple scratch could cause somebody to turn literally immediately like that's how strong his, his blood is you know what i'm saying and it's crazy but anyways 
We're going to jump into these episodes and I will see you guys for the review. Okay, so <laughs> episodes eight and nine, the continuation. So Muzan sent his, his, his ruffians to go deal with. Um, I want to, um, I'm going back to see what they call them again. Something and the 12 moons or something of the sort. All right. The 12 moons, the what the people basically, they are the people that serve directly under Muzan, right? Because we saw when when he sent them after them, yeah, we saw when he sent them after them in the in episode eight, and they arrived at the end of an episode eight. Right. Oh my God, where is this thing? I'm here trying to find out what they call them. So if there's twelve of these guys, this is like <laughs> the guardians. So they um find them basically. Right, they found them. Oh my god, I cannot find the fact that Yoshiro didn't die too, you know what I'm saying? Like the fact that Yoshiro did not die. You know what I mean? Um I'm doing my review. I don't know. You know, I'm not playing it, so it should be yeah, the 12 demon moons, right? So 12 demon moons. So these guys serve directly under Muzan. So I'm looking forward to seeing maybe they are ranked. That is a possibility too. You know, it would make sense narrative wise also to have them ranked. Or maybe he sent the, the lowest of the 12 to go take him to go take take out Tanjiro. You know, so it continued from to go back, you know, in episode eight from seeing Muzan taking care of these dudes in the alleyways and then sending his minions to go take care of Tanjiro, right? So we also learn that this doctor lady, right? What is her name? Tamio? Tamio? Tamio is her name, I think. I think her name is Lady Tamio or whatever, right? Um, so she's a doctor that, you know, she turned into a demon, but she figured out a way to quench basically the thirst um, of using human blood to do it. So she's figured out a way to let to, for them to have less of an appetite, not necessarily, um, you know, so there's gotta be like, there's this readjustment that they have to do to their bodies so that they don't quench for human blood that much, right? So we kind of already seen what she can do. She can kind of like create this kind of space with her I don't know. She she did like use her nails to like you know like scrape her skin to like create this I don't know if it's an alternate dimension. I don't think so. Maybe it is. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a dimension that other you know regular humans can't um enter. Um, I don't know if that was a, um, a bit, I don't know if it was a combination of her ability and the dude's ability. I don't know. So, um, but that's what we saw them when we saw them first, when they came to kind of rescue Tanjiro because the cops were trying to, um, basically take him off of this demon. It's like, yo, if I let this dude go, he's going to hurt somebody else. But, um, these two came in so i'm curious to see because they look like they're a different type of demon because dude lost his head i thought he was done you know what i'm saying and see the thing about it is this what makes this a little bit confusing um 
is we've learned of the ways that you can kill a demon, right? You can crush their head, right? You can use the sword, the demon slayer sword to cut off their head. It's a special type of sword. So that's a, that alone will do. But I'm guessing if you do it on a like just regular, if you chop off their head, they're not going to die because we've seen that before, right? Um, growing back the head, I've never seen that before. Like that was um, a new because remember the first demon that Tanjiro went up against, right? The first demon he went up against um, that first time, right? And you know when he met um, his sensei, basically, right? And he, he came in and he did cut off his head and the body kept moving around and then the head grew arms and was running on the ground so we know that they don't die if you just cut off their head um so it's just that i never seen the head grew back before so like that was very strange but it is what it is these demons are basically if it's not sunlight or a demon slayer sword it's like you cannot really kill them you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just weird. It's just weird, but it's the mechanics of how the series is going. Um, it's not weird in a bad way. It's weird in a good way, you know? So um, I'm just trying to adapt to what I'm seeing on screen. These fight scenes are so crazy. E you know, some of the, the scenes, the CG is very obvious. You know what I'm saying? You can see that it's not, you know, um, you know like a uh, 2d animation or you know what i'm saying like regular drawn animation you can see that it's not right um those things are very jarring especially when you're when your animation is so crisp like the animation style a lot of the stuff it, uh, you can you know sometimes the cg is is very obvious in the show and it doesn't take me out of the show as much as some cgs do in other series that i've seen it in um you know sometimes the cg can be very awful i don't mind it in, in 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 certain series like say the dragon ball super movie the broly movie like there was a lot of cg in that movie um for very some of this very specific specific scenes you know but it wasn't bad it was very good you know what i mean i mean mind you it's movie quality so they had plenty of time to polish it and stuff like that um you know um so i don't mind it you know it didn't take me out of the action you know it didn't take me out of the action i was still paying attention but it was just it was very obvious and a lot of times if you're doing some if you're watching something that's very a certain way and then something just comes in and it's very obvious you're gonna point it out it's just you know what I'm saying? That's just human nature overall, you know? Um, so, well, that's just me overall, I should say. That's just me. Um, flaws are flaws. <laughs> I love to point out flaws for some reason. <laughs> you know, I nitpick a lot. You know, you know, you know it serves me well <laughs> in life, you know? Um, so, when it comes on to how, what's progressing and with, with a certain person, these two... 12 demon moons two of them comes now dude is pretty sauce dude with the eyes in his hands we have not learned what their names are yet so or have we they probably said the names and i wasn't really paying attention to what names they were saying because they probably did call themselves the little banters that they were having between each other but they're pretty sauce their powers are pretty cool um well not the girl's powers the girl's powers is kind of a little bit generic she's just throwing balls at people but the other dude he's sauce you know what i'm saying he's sauce he's saucy with it i like his power because you know what i'm saying it's very unique i've never seen anything like that in anime you know what i'm saying so it's very unique her growing arms and throwing balls you know what i'm saying that's very generic unless she has something else up her seat up her sleeve she's not really blowing me out of the park right now with you know what she's doing power wise the other dude hell yes even though he just basically got his head cut off but it took tanjiro a, a decent amount of combining his his moves 
combining about three of the forms to take him you know what i'm saying so i'm looking forward to seeing the next episode of course um i'm liking the series right now i like in the direction of where it's going i didn't expect to be introduced to somebody this big or the boss of all bosses this early but that's also good too because now you can create a lore around this character you know what i'm saying of working up to this 1v1 you know what i'm saying and he's he's a problem even the little stuff that i see him do he is a problem and i'm not saying we haven't seen any demon we don't even know i don't even know what his power is yet like you can imagine what kind of power he has developed over over the years that they've been alive and now they're talking about i don't even know how long because these dudes can be alive way longer you know what i'm saying than these guys so than regular humans they've been around for years you know what i'm saying it took old girl 200 years over 200 years <laughs> how old is she you know what i'm saying so it's pretty cool but we're gonna see what happens next of course so i'll see you guys later of course don't forget to leave a like leave a comment on the video and of course subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts and i will see you guys later man peace